Our lives are made up of countless decisions. What to wear, where to work, whether to vote, who to vote for, who to be friends with, who to love. In the words of philosopher Thomas Nagel, we cannot live human lives without making choices which show that we take some things more seriously than others. You've probably never given this much thought, but for Nagel, this is part of an existential question. Because just as we live our lives continuously making choices which require judgments of value, that is we decide that one thing is more important than another, we as humans are capable of entertaining a perspective in which there are no values at all, in which nothing is more important than anything else. We are capable of acknowledging that the seriousness appears gratuitous, that none of these decisions which we take seriously actually matter. It doesn't actually matter what we wear, who we vote for, who we love, the friends we keep. All of these things that we take seriously are small and insignificant and individual. We are uniquely capable as humans of taking a step back and doubting all of our belief systems. We acknowledge that no belief system is any more true than any other. Yet we have no choice but to function as if our belief systems are true and to make decisions accordingly. For Nagel, this is what makes life absurd. It is absurd because we ignore the doubts that we know cannot be settled, continuing to live with nearly undiminished seriousness in spite of them. Many philosophers have addressed the lack of meaning in human existence. The existentialist suggests that we must create our own meaning. In his book, The Myth of Sisyphus, Albert Camus suggests a sort of continuous confrontation, that we must always live in defiance of the absurdity of our lives. Nagel suggests a different, more optimistic approach. The absurdity of life need not be a matter for agony unless we make it so. We should appreciate our unique ability to doubt ourselves and approach our absurd lives with irony instead of heroism or despair. Thanks for watching. If you want more, we have an entire episode where we do a deep dive into Thomas Nagel's paper. We also have an episode on Camus' The Myth of Sisyphus. And as always, many thanks to our Patreon supporters.